Hello, in this Dart programming video, I am going to show you the this keyword. So the this keyword is a pretty simple little concept, little thing that you can use. You can do with any type of class, you know, a child class, parent class, doesn't matter. So I'll just stick with the child class. If I create a new method, I'm going to say void, and I'm going to say square. So this is basically just going to square a number and return it. Actually, I'll just print it out. So if we have... So if we pass in a number, so like number, for example, and what we want to do is actually scrap that. I'm going to show you an even more better example is this right here. So as you can see, we have this getter and setter. So with the setter, we pass it in some sort of value, and that's what we're setting. In this case, we multiply it by two, doesn't matter what we do to it, but imagine if we name it the same like this and we do that what do you think is going to happen so if we were to run this now we get 60 and 24 we get 60 and 60. if we scroll down where we get max speed which is set to 60 by default then it sets max speed to 10 then it prints our max speed and it's like Okay, if we set it to 10, shouldn't it be 20? Because, you know, it gets doubled. But the problem is, because this local variable, because this is only created for this method, and this variable for this class have the same name, it's getting confused of, you know, what's happening here. We know that this is referring to this one, and this one should be referring to this one. But what's actually happening is it goes to the lowest scope. So this refers to this, and this also refers to this. So what it's just basically saying is, get whatever you we pass in here, which is 10, double it, and just, pass, and just assign it back to itself. And that's not what we're actually printing out. If we want to have the same name, one of the reasons you might want to have the same name, because you know that's the best thing to describe what it is, the way you can do it is if you use this keyword, if you do this dot, and now if we run it, we get 20. So what did this is saying is, it gets any or it accesses any property that's part of this class and that includes anything you know if it's a child class if it's inherited from a parent class that includes that as well whereas without the this keyword it will go to the lowest scope which in this case is this local variable so that's all that this keyword is if you have any questions a bit more you know spe better specifics of how to use it where to use it of this or anything else feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.